Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union. Hello, welcome back to Talk 365 and to a new segment that we kind of teased last week that we're really excited about. We're calling it Small Talk because we're talking to, uh, to local businesses that got their start through a loan with University Credit Union. And this time we're chatting with founder and owner of Cowboy Cauldron, Mike Bertelson. He is such a cool guy. It was such a fun thing because we it happened organically, really. We were just going to do one segment where we highlighted small business loans and how they work at University Credit Union, and it turned into this whole awesome experience where talking to entrepreneurs and small business owners and the University Credit Union is now sponsoring this segment so I get to go out and talk with all kinds of business owners. Maybe you. You should email me and tell me if you're interested in being on our show and I can come to your place and we can chat a little bit much like this and I know you're giving me the eye because you want to go too. Rich can go. go too. We're going to go together. You can do the local loves. That makes total sense. But I we know, can both do the small talk. Absolutely. You can local love too. It's all in the same. It's all just basically, we get to go do some really cool stuff because we have really cool sponsors. And this was the start with Mike and the Cowboy Cauldron. Take a look. All right, everybody, we found Mike and Cowboy Cauldron. And Todd, this, yeah. this is the original cauldron. Isn't that cool? It's super cool. Mike, I'm so excited to hear your story because <laughs> you were from all over the place. Yep. And I just want to understand how you came to owning a business and why University Credit Union and why cauldrons. OK, so great question. So I left here uh -huh. and went to Washington, DC, and became staff counsel to the banking committee for a number of years and then became a lobbyist and represented financial services institutions. And one of the things I learned about being counsel to the banking committee is that if you're not at a credit union, you're an idiot. Because I I think we can just call I it. I wish a day. I could put that on a that <laughs> was amazing. Yeah. yeah. I mean from the legal perspective, from the fees perspective, from every perspective that makes any difference at all. Credit unions are the place that anyone should be. And now that credit unions are legally allowed to do business lending, as soon as that was the case, I moved my business to the University Credit Union. That's amazing. And yeah. tell me how you found the Cowboy Cauldron. So as a lobbyist, I was entertaining for a living, as you might surmise. And I was also fortunate enough to be living on the grounds at Mount Vernon, which is George Washington's home. Oh, wow. He also entertained for a living when he wasn't running the country or running a war. Hmm. I am a fire bug and I'm also a very avid hunter. And so I was living in this wonderful place and thinking to myself, Mike, come on, you got. we need a fireplace. We need something that's beautiful, portable, that's versatile, that is going to want, people are going to want to spend time around. Mm -hmm. And because I had all things colonial around me, had lots of good things to draw from and came up with this. So this is the original wow, piece. This, is this awesome. was actually manufactured to my specs by a mining equipment repairman. Uh -huh. um, and I had to move it home from his shop in a Volvo 240 station wagon. <laughs> nice. So you can, that, that ages me a little bit, but you know, hey. And it just became an instant hit among the, probably say the, the cognoscenti, if you will. Um, in my part of the political world. And then when I left, my buddies saw it here and said, Mike, that thing is so cool. Make us one, please. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, I said, no way. <laughs> so I'm hard. not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard. Make your own. Uh -huh. um, but eventually two of them prevailed upon me, and I made a couple. And literally a week later, I got a call from a guy in New York. Hey, you the cauldron guy? Sure, why not? Who are you? <laughs> and there you go. And that's how it started. Wow. Yep. That is awesome. So how many are you making? Where are you having them manufactured? And how do we how do we get them? They are made right here in Salt Lake City, mm -hmm. for the most part. There are some machining requirements that don't exist here, as you might guess. We did a million dollars in sales last year. We'll probably double that this year. Congratulations. So yeah, the, growth, fantastic. the growth has been pretty remarkable. And right now, I'm essentially in the middle of a classic MBA growth management project. They're all made of U.S. steel, which we're really proud of, and uh, hopefully we can keep it that way as the growth continues. So how did you come across the University Credit Union? 
Well, when I moved back to Utah, I was a Sigma Chi here at the university. I've always had a great affinity for the U. We moved into this neighborhood near the university and thought, what credit unions for me? I know, crimson red. Nice. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> what color's your card, that's right, right. That's Always red. That's red. Right. So I mean, these things, it's a fire pit. You can cook on it. It is so versatile, just sit around it. And I think in Utah, more than anywhere, it's gotta be a huge hit in Park City and all of the resort towns to have in the backyard to be able to go warm yourself up after yeah. skiing and the snow. I mean, I, I think it's, it's such a clever idea. The beautiful thing about these is that they are versatile for starters. We have chefs all over the world now who use them. You can cook wow. inside them, you can grill on them, you can put the fire underneath and use it as the world's maybe largest soup pot, if you will. <laughs> wow. Um, we just did uh, installations for the Four Seasons in both Kona and Maui. Wow. They're doing some really exciting things with them, and we're yeah. asked to appear at food festivals all over the country, uh -huh. certainly, and increasingly all over the world. That's that is great. so cool. Well, Mike, thank you for taking a minute to talk to us and for endorsing and talking to us about how you found University Credit Union, because we, of course, love them. And I love small business owners. I love the entrepreneurial spirit, and yours is definitely strong, and you're, like, succeeding. Congratulations. Thank you so very much. That is just, you are, like, the best story we could get. Um, and what, can we just load this into the truck for me then? Because knock yourself was, out. That's what we decided. <laughs> yeah, right? lift that, Holly. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're not that. The two of us could easily do it, <laughs> but I'd prefer to feed back the truck. Out. <laughs> Tell us where we can get one. What do we need to do if we want to get one? Uh, Cowboycauldron.com. Uh, we ship them directly to your home via a scheduled delivery service, and yeah, get one hey, sooner or later. Cauldron envy is real. Don't let it happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, thank you for talking to us. You're so welcome. Okay, that was tons of fun. Yeah, it was really cool. And tomorrow we have Rob from The Bagel Project. If you don't know his story, you're gonna wanna tune in because not only are his bagels good, his story of how he came from New York and figured out how to make a bagel here in Utah is just as interesting and fun as well. His story is almost as good as his bagels. Ex Excellent, thank you for making that work <laughs> That's perfectly. That's what I think. Yeah, good job. And I really want to cook some bagels in a cowboy cauldron. I really want one I think of those. We need to, I know, I want both things. That would be so awesome. Right now I want a bagel. Yeah. Somewhere around yeah. here. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back right after this. Rob, did Rob Maybe not give there. us any bagels? I really, we need to make that happen. Yeah, we do. Rob. Small Talk is brought to you by University Credit Union.